Shoo! We are back, ladies and gentlemen. We got the goods. Not really. We uh, just spent $2,100 to clean out somebody else's storage unit. And in fact, we actually ran out of space in this truck, trailer, and Banjo's truck. Actually, it was Ty's truck, which we don't have today. It's actually at the apartment. So we'll, that, but most of that stuff we put in there, I think, was the keep. So $2,100. That's what you're looking at. You get children's shopping carts and a tote that says brat on it. That's what $2,100 uh, gets you. So if you missed the first episode, it'll be linked down below. You guys can go check it out. But we bought our first ever storage unit. The lady that worked there is like, yeah, man. I've been working here for like 9, 12 months, and I've uh, never seen one go for this much. So that means I obviously just got screwed on this deal. But today, we are going, well actually not today, we're not going to be selling it, but today we're going to prep to sell it. We are going to keep everything we want to keep. And I don't really know how to value that, okay? I don't know how to like say, oh, this is, this hammer's worth 20 bucks, but we're keeping it. So add that to the, I don't really know how to do that. We'll, we'll sor sort it and separate it into keep, sell, and junk and those are going to be the categories that we're, we're working with today i mean there's really a washer and dryer right here i don't know if it works i don't i don't really know how to test if it works because we don't have a water hookup and i don't really feel like go i don't like do you think the auction would take a washer or yeah. facebook marketplace or something i i don't know we got a bunch of stuff like i said some, some stuff we're keeping some stuff we're throwing away some time, some stuff we're, we're selling but today we are going to be selling it not today but you'll see in this video you'll see it we're going to sell it so jake and i are going to unload it all and sort it into different piles and try to determine basically what's complete trash what we think is worth something but we don't want and then what we want to keep and we'll show you guys kind of the pile um and like i said the, the other truck that's loaded with stuff isn't here and a lot of that stuff was the better stuff so a lot of the stuff we're keeping isn't here today which is fine today we just want to figure out how much of this is junk so we can put it back in the trailer and haul it off to the dump site whatever we don't think is worth anything and then when we go to the auction we'll let you know we'll, we'll set it all up i don't know if we're going to stay for the actual bidding it just depends on the timing of everything we're not really sure how long it'll all take we can't really spend all day there we have some other stuff to take care of but i will let you know how much we make they always call me and say hey you made this here's the check whatever so we'll let you know what we make on the sale Maybe we'll try to guesstimate the, the value of what we keep, and then we'll see, basically, does it equal 2,100 bucks? I'm doubtful. I, I don't know how people make money on this, or I just got absolutely screwed on this deal, uh, which definitely could be the case, considering the person that worked there was like, yeah, I've never seen one go for $2,000 before. So I don't know why it went for so much. I mean, it did say there was a gun safe, which was filled with mail. So that one got... That one got me good. Probably whoever I was bidding against got me good as well. So anyways, we're going to get this unloaded into the shop, make a nice big mess real quick, and uh, get it all sorted out. Hopefully we can make some money. Yeah, stay tuned. Why well, you missed quite a bit here. What do you think he was ripping? Very good. I don't know what make that size. It's a whole decent size. They're pretty big holes. Bigger than probably a pellet gun. I don't know why that's in the. He I had to keep know, that maybe. for his record. Anyways, well, folks, there you have it. We got her sorted ish somewhat. This is trash. That bike is pretty much trash. There's nothing really to do here. Sell here. So we got a bunch of jerry cans, um, a couple of nice pairs of shoes, some light. All this stuff that we're selling works. These drills, sawzaws, we've tested all of them. They made sure they worked. There's a bunch of fans grandfather clock old tool chest we're entering the gun safe because i think we can sell the gun safe what's that a map of this is from israel excuse me from the what do, you, what do you think these guys were into from israel. is it a map of israel what exactly are we doing here what it's like a vinyl sticker or something what were these guys into why is this in a safe why is that okay well we open uh so what we're what we're selling that charger fan a ton of ratchet straps a cooler, a vacuum step stool, tackle box, that's a refrigerator, paint brushes and fishing rods, um, weed puller, suitcase, cooler, uh, wagon stroller, two hedge trimmers or weed whackers, power roller, I don't, to be honest, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's for paint, there's a lot of paint on it. I bet it is, power roller, that makes sense. And then we got a heater here, tricycle, another bike and another tricycle. So. This is the cell pile, and uh, plus what's in here, we've got some tires. So there's still some junk in there. We're like, why would we unload it and then reload it? Those tires and that bench uh, will sell. This is junk. This whole thing is filled with junk, stuff that we thought isn't even worth attempting to sell. It's either broken or, you know, boxes of DVDs and these, like, you know, you ain't doing much with these bad boys. So we kind of went through and figured out what does nobody want? Clothes, old stuff, cans of old paint. Um, but I think this gun safe's decent. There's some decent looking tires. You know, this guy right here, somebody might want to finish it. It's like, it's not, not valuable. As long as it's not broken, somebody out there might see some value in it. What's going on here? Well, too bad the old silver chain ain't in there. Rib, we've been rich. Uh, and then keep wise, 
not a ton, but these two farm sinks, we think we can probably polish up, maybe. Maybe, I don't know if you can paint them or polish them or whatever, but two farm sinks, an oil drain, a uh, pan, a milk crate. This little, wow, this little doohickey here needs an engine, so we might have to fix that boy, bad boy up. This is a potato cannon launcher, um, pitchforks, and then a bucket full of tools. I mean, there's hammers and ratchets and all sorts of good stuff that's in mom's hair. Excuse, no way. Shut up. What do you mean mom's hair? Why is mom's why is mom's hair in there <laughs> That's though? So weird. If there's hair in here, what are we gonna do? I'm going home. What are we gonna do if there's mom if mom's hair is actually in here? I don't know. Why are you keeping mom's hair? You see this also looks like this safe was like dropped out of an airplane. That's fine. <laughs> That's there's no problem. Okay. God. If, if mom's hair in, is in here, is mom dead and they're just like keep her That's hair in it? Well, is it an old cell phone box? Yeah. A K who has a K8? Please don't be mom's hair. Oh, nothing. A PlayStation controller manual. What's this from? Team U.S. Cellular. Wow, this is a ways. Wow, ago. When was this bought? This was bought. Well, this is only 2019. Oh. So why is, why is it labeled Mom's hair? There's one strand of hair. Oh God. Dead ass. Dead ass. Oh, that's so gross. Look at this. Ew. That's mom's hair. Why? Ew. Who kept that and why? Yeah, who pulled one piece of mom's this, hair out? They're like at her, they're like she, 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 she died just like at the funerals, like plucks out of the coffin. We're keeping uh, this for later. Uh, mom's hair, bro? Why? Literally, mom's hair. The Andrew Danny, but she should have used a freaking suave or whatever, nice. head and shoulders or something. So anyways, what we, what we saved was uh, some tools. We had some pitchforks, some two big giant sledgehammers, which I think are decently valuable. That thing's filled with crowbars, vices, pliers, wrenches, hammers. I mean, some good stuff. This stuff is helps you measure the, if you're putting like baseboard around a, a house, like around the perimeter. So we kept that. Figured maybe one day we'll use it. And uh, and then there's a washer. We're gonna try selling that. I don't know if the auction will take it. We're gonna bring it. Yeah, I think it works. It still has water and it smells super fresh. I mean, if it was if it worked, you would think they would have sold it. So it might be broken, but I'm not gonna tell the people that it, it works. It's up to them what they- Lucy, get- Why are you in my car? Lu no, you're wet and muddy. Get out of the car. Why would you do such a thing? I can't believe you've done this. Uh, so anyways, everything, what's going on? The old lighter. Does it work? That's an ancient little sucker, isn't it? Wow, that's kind of cool. And then, like I said, you, 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 it's junk pile. Oh, and then we're keeping one other thing, a couple other things. Jake was not a fan of this, but I, I said, hey, we should keep it, because we're, we're big into the re- Oh yeah, here's all the other throwaway stuff we forgot. There's literally an entire Wii, there's a PlayStation in there, but it all looks pretty jaggedy and ranky, and I'm like, I don't know, anybody wants that stuff nowadays. A nice shovel, and this table, Jake was wanting to throw this out. I think it's in decent condition. It's a little, a little warped, but build some legs, and you got a nice little worked bench. I mean, something up there. I mean, yeah, we paid good money for that one up there. We build, build something. I'm maybe again, we got all these properties, the ranch, different places. So I figured it's probably worth it to keep it. It's already, you know, I don't know if you call it stained or polished or finished. Literally, you could just wipe that sucker down, build four legs on it, and you've got somewhat of a little tabletop. So I thought that was worth keeping. So I don't know if anyone would actually buy it. Um, that bed, definitely not gonna sell. I don't really wanna ruin somebody's day with some uh, bed bugs and stuff. Some shelving, that's like some crutches, an umbrella, another fan. There's a lot of stuff in here. I, we, again, we tasted everything. Everything that we're selling, for sure works. We made sure everything plugged in. So we're this rich. is what we're, huh? We're rich. Really? Bag of pennies. Pennies? Why pennies, man? Why not freaking half dollars or something? This one's got like a ring around it. Wait, do what? Are these like these are these pennies? might just be worth two trillion dollars? 2019, they can't be worth nothing. No, All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and reload the sellables in there. Like so we're keeping what we're keeping. We, we'll try to fix that little scooter up someday, um, and then we'll have to leave this junk here once we go to the auction tomorrow, unload it, and sell it. We'll have to come back reload the junk and take it to the dump. I mean, like, there's really not much you can do with this stuff. I mean, I'm really trying to make, you know, executive good quality decision making, and I feel bad throwing stuff out if somebody could see value in it. I mean, unless somebody's looking for a rusted out cart, I feel like there's really not, not a whole lot to it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this trailer reloaded, and we'll see you guys at the auction stage. We found it. We found mom's hair. It wasn't the one strand. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you buy storage units. Why I'm not wearing gloves, I don't know. That's mom's hair. Dandruff. Dandruff oh, and all. Don't do that. Dandruff Snow and all. <laughs> dandruff and all. Why? <laughs> this is so creepy. I don't think I'm ever going to buy any storage no, units again. Why is there just a big old chunk In the of mom's safe. Hair? <laughs> Shoo, 
and we made it ladies and gentlemen to the auction we are loaded up we unloaded banjo's truck which actually had a lot more goods in it we ended up keeping a bunch of uh pretty much just screwdrivers right some tools yeah not a whole lot i would say maybe a hundred dollars for the tools what we kept so we'll have to subtract yeah. that so i don't know what we the total value of what we kept is but i mean we got a full stinking trailer load banjo you think this is gonna go for a lot i mean what if someone buys it? What if, I mean, what's the worst case? No, what's going on there? On me, what's going on? What's going on there? Hard hat or what? Yeah. I mean, what's the worst <laughs> case? It doesn't sell. What happens if it doesn't sell? You have to haul it back home. Really? So this is more. This is more trash. But all that's that's all the good stuff. You think all that stuff's gonna sell? Well. You just put you it all me. together, I may end up selling it all. Should together. we just sell sell the trailer, just the whole lot? Not the trailer. I need the trailer, but the, everything in the trailer. There's a grandfather clock. Yeah, well, you, you set it out in the row there. Okay. I, I think we'll get it to sell. Okay, that's all I'm here yeah. for. I, I, I just, you know how much I spent for this? You want to take a guess? So it's a, it's a storage store option. Storage unit. $25. <laughs> you got to add two zeros. Yeah, <laughs> I got screwed, huh? <laughs> was some, it a closed door box? Yeah, you couldn't yeah. see it. They said it There's had a nice, They said they had nice a gun safe in there. We figured there was guns in there. No. No, no there's mail. Lots of mail. Famous yeah. last word at all. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Alright, we're gonna get everything lined up. Man, we gotta wipe that sucker down. That's yeah, looking real. I bet we can find some paper towels inside maybe. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get everything unloaded. The auction the auctioneer said he thought maybe 25 bucks for the whole lot, so yeah, this is gonna be rough. We got everything loaded out, boys. This is it. All we have two rows. Once we actually unloaded it, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I'll be honest. Uh, I would just have enough of it already. But I mean, good vice grips, decent chisels. Oh, it works. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, we tested it all. Make sure it works. We got some lights. So all this here: fishing poles, dirt devils, gun safes, some shovels, the washer. We've got the racking, a little step stool, and we've got some little bikes and tricycles, a bunch of ratchet straps, a cooler that's plugged in, another cooler, another cooler, a couple tackle boxes, some uh, like travel cases, briefcase, what, 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 what? suitcases, you got it. Some jerry cans, bench, chairs without backs, some tires. Over here, this thing's nice. We actually saw this at Ace, and yeah, open it up. Yeah. That was 125 bucks or something. So, I mean, that's, and that looks brand spanking new to oh, me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got that, two trimmers, chargers, heater, heater, toolboxes, toolboxes, a bunch of other stuff. This toolbox was filled with stuff. I mean, look at all this. This is all, this is all quality stuff. I mean, I feel like I should keep this stuff. This is, this is good quality, good quality stuff. I've actually pulled some more stuff out that I think I need, but you know, I want somebody else to have it. I mean, I got plenty of tools, but I mean, wire strippers. I mean, like I said, this thing's in. Yeah. It's a little gummed up, but you, you can you, you give it the old walk. I mean, you even got. I mean, there's a whole set of wrenches. An entire, literally an entire set. The only reason why I don't want it. I mean, look at that. That, that thing's probably like 30, 40 bucks just oh, on its own. 100%. percent we got a bunch of that paint brush thing, some Romax, two miter saws. I stole huh? the Merca chair. I had to have it. A little Dremel kit. Do we know what's in here? Uh, It was like a drill. Oh, was it? A it was a quarter drill, wasn't it? It was pretty nice. Yeah, let's open it up. Showcase. So can see what it Showcase is. everybody. Oh, yeah. Big. Uh -huh. Oh, dude, is that a full set? Yeah. I might have to bid on my own stuff if this stuff goes for like a dollar, dude. You know what I mean? We just not even could... figure out how to open this thing. Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> oh it's a whole set. Yeah. Spark plug. If, uh, that's it. So we're going to stick around for it. If, if it goes super cheap, I'll probably just buy it back. That way, uh, you know, is it stuff we could do? I mean, this thing, look at this thing, Banjo. This thing's like $125 yeah, dollars brand new. Yeah. Who doesn't have latches? Duct tape. You'd be all right. Yeah. So we got enough stuff yeah. between these two tables. We're hoping that we can get close. So, I mean, what are we going to estimate we kept value wise? Because we have to subtract uh, that. Because right now we're dealing with, was it 2100 bucks? Mm -hmm. So we spent, I mean, you got to realize like a tall sledgehammer is like 60 bucks. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's two of them. And there's two of them. We kept about. Four to five hundred. So let's just say five hundred. 500. Let's just say six hundred. Okay. So we have to make fifteen hundred bucks to break even. We ain't making fifteen hundred. I wouldn't think so. I think we'll be lucky for. What do you? What do you? I would say. I'd be very happy. I bet we'll get six hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Six hundred and fifty. Really? I'll be generous. Seven, seven fifty. So, anyways, we're gonna hang out here, huh? I'm gonna take this inside. Okay. Because too many people like to walk off of stuff. Like oh. Okay. Do you think we can sell that or no? Well, sure you can. Oh, okay. I sell money all the time. Oh, perfect. I like that. That's good. That's what I'm here for. Bag of bag of penny. So, anyways, auction will start here in a little bit, and you guys stay tuned. We got boards. I bought donuts. Mm. Three, two, eight, five. They're they're out of seven. Date. What is it? They're they're expired. <laughs> no. No, they are. <laughs> Just by a few days. Oh, Dude, I, I got these for like two dollars a box. Oh god. Yeah. Get yourself some. Oh. Don't get the paper. 
I Six mean, the guys. Where do you think this is? is? No, I don't know what Six this is. That's a fire. Stack, any box ball. That's a fire donut. Oh, alright, good. Oh, these are fire. Yo, Glaze. Yeah. Give Ralph one. Go on again. Go on again. Four by. Those are good. No, well, they're been they're been food. Might maybe grab some chocolate milk. Yeah, they should be they should be at our auction sometime soon. We're eight dollars in the hole now. All right, here we go, boys. We've sat here for four hours. Here we go. Time to make some money. I did just have an elderly man steal a light. You think he's gonna just try it. plugging it in? Or is he gonna bring it back? Oh, he definitely just stole it. All right, here we go. You ready, banjo? We're selling tires. Four times the money. Let's see it. I just got robbed by that old guy, didn't I? Yeah, that's pretty good money. It's 50 bucks right there. No one's bid yet. No, true. Four dollars per tire. Four dollars per tire? Oh, I'm getting smoked. What's the problem here? There's enough tread to get you in California. That's what I was thinking. Dude, no one bid at four dollars. Or two and a half. No one's bid. You're a kid. We are. Oh, we're done, son. Somebody give two and a half a piece for him. Let's go, folks. That's ten dollars for four tires. Thirty-two sixty-seven. Oh, he bid. We got one bid. Thank you. We don't have to take him home. That was ten dollars. I don't care. Okay. Ten bucks for ten bucks for four okay. tires. I got five. Six dollars. Seven dollars. Hallie. Eight dollars. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Whoa, twelve and a half. Okay. All right. Wait, what's he gonna get? Gas can. Oh, he took the whole pew for ten dollars. <laughs> God damn. Look at that nice trike. Yeah, ten. Wow, this is brutal, dude. Trike for five bucks. Five dollar trike. All right. I say that electric cooler's got to be a hundred bucks. Should we just start bidding it up ourselves or what? What if we get stuck with it though? I don't want to get stuck with anything. Six dollars. He took the cooler for six dollars. More than the trike. Six dollars yeah, nice for an electric cooler. Yeah. Another six dollar item. Six the step ladder, six bucks. Yeah. We are getting smoked. We are getting smoked. Those are nice gas cans. Two and a half for a gas can. We got a long ways to go. Boys, this ain't the way to make money. I don't know what how you do it, but this ain't it. That suitcase is literally brand new. We're in a new suitcase. Jake said he needs a suitcase. Maybe, maybe we should just bid on it for Jake. After this, I think things should start going. The, the tools in the washing machine? The, in the washing machine. We'll have to see what that goes for. The problem is they waited till last, and so there's like four people bidding right now, which is the strap. Like, that's a perfectly good cooler for $2. What he's taking? $2. $2. Two bucks yeah, for a night yeah, for a, yeah. a nice cooler. Yeah. Red. Washing machine. Come on. Right. Easy there. That's good profit. It's good merchandise. Somebody give me five. Dude, you're kidding me. Five dollars for the washer. It's a the thing works. Five dollars for the washer and nobody will buy it. It's a working washer. Alright, I'll trust your work. Give me two and a half. You're <laughs> two and a half. No one will buy for two and a half. No one bid it. We have to take that home. No, I'm not taking that. Oh my god, we got so screwed. Banjo, what did we do? Why did we do this? Who signed up for this? Fifteen, but I think did Ralph buy it? I don't know. I think he bought it for himself. Fifteen dollars for the entire gun safe. Five. Okay. Three. Three items. Four items. Times five. Don't lose. Oh, times five. Times five. Yeah, yeah, five times five. Look here, we got donuts. Oh no. I'll give you two and a half. <laughs> but he's taking two shovels too? Okay, add two more shovels. Okay. You, got, you need two at least, right? No, not really. Yeah. <laughs> Banjo. <laughs> Took a shoe. Shoes for two. Shoes for 250. Plugged it in this morning. There it goes. <laughs> 250. <laughs> this is brutal. Okay, you're going to get everything on top of the table. You're going to get that vacuum cleaner. You're going to get these fishing poles and everything down here. And you're going to get the washing machine. <laughs> no one wants a washing machine. <laughs> you can take it home. Please, please, Ralph, just set up a washing machine. I don't want to take it back. You're kidding. For a dollar. Oh, my God. <laughs> no one wants a washer for a dollar. That's all right. We'll wait. We got more. The only thing that will save us is if these tools go for a lot. Here, guys. We got some nice items here. We got your big toolbox there. If you're into horses, turn it into a tack box. Nice Good market. Yeah, I like that. Sold 1750 for a hundred dollar box. We got three. Oh, dude, buddy. Three. Is, shout out to this guy. Sold two and a half, three, five, eight. You're shout out to that guy. He's buying everything. On top of the three table. Bucks? Three bucks, yeah. I'm gonna say stuff ain't brought here to yeah. give away, so. 
At this point, pretty much is. Money, now five. Money, now five. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Sell it. Sell it for more than my washer. Give me $10. $10. $10 for a saw. That's how that works. This is crazy. Five bucks. We should buy this back and just go to the pump shop. This is so bad. This is painful. $3 for a working drill. I'm not going to pain you guys anymore with this because I'm already in pain. So I'll let you guys know what we got in total. Stay tuned. Well, folks. We just left the biggest high tick, highest ticket item. I think it was the miter saw, and that went for 75 or 80 bucks, which wasn't bad. Grand total. So if you guys missed the first episode, we spent 2100 bucks. We're guessing on the high end after seeing this that we kept $600 worth. I highly doubt that's the case, meaning we had $1,500 worth of items to either sell or trash. Uh, so essentially, unless we made $1,500 today, uh, we would have lost money. Grand total, $351 was the total. So we lost uh, about 1100 bucks. So that just goes to show, you learned two lessons from this video. Never buy storage units, especially ones that bid up to $2,000, and never take them to animal auctions to get sold. Those are the two things. The tools were a hit, Those, we made the most money, but they literally sold the washer and dryer, crutches, a few camping lights, that potato smasher thing, and a handful of other tools for $1. Literally a washer for $1. So anyways, uh, never doing that again, ever. If we ever buy a storage unit again, I'm going to make sure I don't spend $2,100 on it. And if we ever do that, need to sell it, we're either going to go to a trap pawn shop next time or list everything on Facebook Marketplace, put in the time, and actually try to recoup the investment. If you guys have any tips or what you want to see, do you want to see us do it again, uh, but maybe try, like I said, the pawn shop, Facebook Marketplace. I like the idea of it. I just don't like the idea of losing $1,000. That that didn't, that wasn't all that great. So, anyways, if you want to support your boy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. We will catch you on the next one, and peace.